Hi, so in the previous episode, we were finally able to finish building the walls around the new area. Basically, everything is all set up and all that's left is to build the houses. So continuing where we left off, I decided to build a bunch of houses for the entire week. I basically built one house each day. So for the first house, it's from a YouTube tutorial. Links will be in the description. The exterior is very detailed and lovely. I really love how it looks. The interior is simple but really cozy. Here on the second floor, we have the bedroom and a bunch of stuff. And meet the owner of the house. We also have a cute little balcony out here. Now the next house is also from a YouTube tutorial from the same YouTuber. As you can see, it has some similar designs from the previous house we just looked in. Because it does. It is made by the same YouTuber. Though it's bigger in size. The interior is simple on the first floor. The second floor is a little cozy and nice. Here we have the room of a cartographer. And here we have a room of a bookworm. The next room is an ugly one. I actually made it myself with no tutorial this time. That explains why it's so disgusting. I based it off of a Google image I found, but you know how building stuff from Google images in Minecraft is different sometimes? Cause you can get some disappointing results. I tried my best on the interior though. The next house is a little better but it's still trash because I again made it myself with no tutorial. But I did not use a reference photo this time. The interior is quite nice and cozy. This is a 3 story house with 2 beds and 2 double beds. For the next house, I started using YouTube tutorials again. And again, it's by the same YouTuber who made the first two houses I showed you. Links again will be in the description. Now the next house is again from a YouTube tutorial, but it's not from the same YouTuber. I know right? They look so similar in designs but they're made by different YouTubers. Crazy, I know. The interior is quite small and compact but it makes it really cozy. Now, the last house I made this week is a little smaller than the other houses. 
I used another YouTube tutorial for this one, so it doesn't look like trash. It's quite cute and small which makes it really cozy. Now, just like every other episode we have done, if it's not fighting a raid or a boss, it's exploring. And so I once again embarked on a journey to explore the Minecraft world. After several minutes of traveling, I encountered this. It was beautiful until I got hit by a puffer fish. So I then spent like 5 minutes gathering all the stuff I can in a shulker box. After that, I found a drowned thing here. It had a treasure map leading to a treasure only a few blocks away. I then dug for like a minute until I found it. So after that, I encountered a wolf and another one. Now I have two dogs. After a couple hours of traveling, I found an igloo. Unfortunately, it did not have a basement. After some time traveling, I found a village. I then took my time looting the stuff they had, then I took their belt and their back eyes. So after like 10 minutes of traveling, I found a pillager thing. Well, all that got me exhausted. I suppose it's time to come back home. More pillagers just kept spawning, so I don't think the fight is ever gonna stop. It was a long journey, but eventually, I came back home. To a raid. Like I said, I'm exhausted, so that will be a story for another time. Well, this video may not be as entertaining as the previous episodes, but we were able to make big progress. Like I said before, this will be filled with houses soon enough, so I hope you'd be there when that happens. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.